that we eat 12 times more pretzels than the average American. And uh, I've been eating and making them for a long time and I love doing it. Uh, a lot of people think it's difficult to make pretzels, but it really isn't. It's no harder than making rolls. In this video, I'll show you how to shape them and how to dip them into lye to give them their characteristic dark brown color. To turn these dough balls into ropes, just take one. I'm going to put it again at just a touch of spray here so that it'd be easy to roll it on the table. I'm going to pat it down and I'm going to just roll it back up. And as I do, kind of squeeze it, stretch it, and then roll it out. And it's only going to let me take it a short distance. This is probably as much as it will go because you can see it's springing back. So when that happens, put it aside and get another one. And as we work each of them to this length, we'll let them relax. And by the time we come back to them, the gluten will have relaxed enough for us to be able to take them to the full 30 inches. Gluten is like a muscle. It can be very tight if it gets overworked, get cramped, so to speak. So giving it a rest is the best way to get more extensibility. You can almost stretch it, but if you do that, you tend to get thin and thick spots. So we're going to continue to put pressure on the dough by rolling out our rope, but we want to get it to 30 inches to get all the gas out and to give us something to work with. Oh yeah, there it is, exactly 30 inches. We're going to make a U shape. It's wanting to shrink back, it's okay, you can roll it out and cross it over, widen it out and give it one extra twist and fold it back over the dough to make our pretzel shape. When you lift it, gently get underneath all three sections and transfer them to the pan. And then you can open it up a little bit. If the dough comes off the ends, just pinch it back on. And we'll keep working through these until we have all six. And after a while, you start to get faster at it as you do more of them, especially if the dough is relaxed and cooperating. So now we've got all six of these shaped. So what we want to do is cover them. I'm going to mist them again so that the plastic doesn't stick. And we're going to cover these and take them to the freezer. You want to give these at least two hours in the freezer. And you can keep them in there for actually up to a few days before you go to the next phase. Working with lye can intimidate some people, but it's really not that hard to work with. I've got some crystal lye here, and what I'm going to do is dissolve it in two cups of water. It'll sting if you splash it on your skin, so you will want to wear protective gloves. And I'm just going to stir this until it dissolves. This creates the alkaline base that allows the pretzels to get that dark, nutty, deep brown, mahogany look. Now I want to put this in something safe because I don't want the alkali dripping onto the counter. So I'm just going to have an ex extra bowl, put my measuring spoons there as well. And it's time to actually start to dip the pretzels into the water. Now these are frozen, so they're very easy to lift, but I'm going to use the tongs and you can also use a slotted spoon and just drop them in. The freezing, of course, makes it easier to dip them without them losing their shape. About five seconds. And if they don't cover, you can flip them over and get them on both sides. And we'll do this with all of our pieces. When you're finished with the lye solution, you can pour it down your sink and then flush the sink with fresh water and it will actually clean your drain. Now for those of you who don't have lye or don't want to use lye, you can also use baking soda. It's alkaline. It's just not as intense as the lye solution. It won't give you quite as dark a color, but it's another option but we'll dip them just as we did before. Now with the baking soda solution, sometimes when the soda dries, it creates little white streaks on the dough. So what we do is, is we take some egg wash and brush that over the surface, and we'll do this again just before we bake it to get a nice sheen. After you've dipped your pretzels, you can set the pan aside and let them rise until the pretzels are nice and puffy so you're ready to go into the oven.